Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs, and I had a question from a user on how to turn a graphic file and a cut file into a print and cut file. So I'm going to open a couple different file types. The first one, I'm gonna come over here to File, Open, and I'm going to open a, a box file. So it's a design SVG file that is created to make a box. So I'm going to choose this main white and I will link the exact files that I'm using down below in the description for you. So you could practice right along. So here is what the file opens as. It is an SVG file. I wanna choose cut only so that it brings in all of the cut lines for this SVG file. So I'm going to choose cut and you can see that the lines change colors. My score lines are white and my outer cut lines are blue. I'm going to click next and then I'm going to click apply. So it's going to add this to my design mat. If I go to the send tab and click send, you can see that I have the two parts for my cut file. Now I would generally cut that all as one piece, but the next step we need to add is our print part. So I'm going to go back to file. I'm going to choose file open and I'm going to open a graphic file. Now I have just simply chosen designs, not for any particular reason, but ones that are the exact same that the user was um, referencing. So a graphic image and an SVG image. So I'm going to open this pink butterflies, bouquets, and I'm simply going to select one. So I'm going to select this, it's a PNG file, and I want to bring this in as a background image because I do not want it to cut around that image. I want to add this to my 3D box that is already on my design mat. I'm going to choose background image. On the resolution, I wanna choose 300 DPI, and I'm going to choose next. And then you can see it's larger than my actual page size. So I'm simply going to scale that down to the size that I would like. And once I have that within my print and cut registration marks, it is going to show that image. So now I could simply size it and let's place this on my mat. I'm going to size my 3D box down to the size I want, and then I'll size my image. And you can print and cut whatever size that your printer could print. So you, if you can print 12 by 12 cardstock, you could set that up for a 12 by 12 print and cut. I'm simply showing the steps to add this to a box or to a cuttable file. So you can see I have my page marks here. The red means something is wrong. So I'm simply going to come over to my artboard and I'm going to turn on the page marks and toggle those on and off. When you do that, you can see that my page marks moved out. You can adjust those if you would like. I usually use the full page marks. Now what we need to do is we need to set up our lines. So I'm going to click on my printed image. If I come over to the Send Design tab right now, it's going to show on the screen, but if I click Send, it's blank. Nothing is there because I have not set the file up properly. Now, back on the design tab, I want to select my image and I have scaled it down to fit within the score lines on this box. So I want to select the image. I'm going to make my artboard. I'm going to shrink that here. And then I wanna click on the layers panel. Now this is where we're going to designate what is a print and what is a cut or what is both. So I'm going to click on this little area right here next to the lock and you can see that it is designated as a default print. So my graphic image, because I brought it in as a background, it was not traced for a cut line, it is now a default print. That is exactly what we want. I'm going to click in that same area here next to main white, and in this case, I want it to cut and print. So if I were to choose cut only, it's going to cut out around that box. So if I was to print this on white cardstock or a colored cardstock and I just wanted the graphic alone and my background was my colored cardstock, then I would choose cut only. If I come up here to the send tab, you can see my graphic is the only thing that's going to print and I click on send and I have my printed artwork and I have my cutting contours. That would be for cutting on whatever color I want to print on. So my box is not going to print. 
If I want the box to print as well in a color, I'm going to click that little area here and I'm going to change that to a cut and print. Now you can see it is back to blue. I have still my white score lines and when I click on the send design, I'm going to choose send. And now I have my printed artwork is showing the blue box that was designated as the original SVG color and I have my cutting contour below. So those are just a couple options that you can do when you are trying to do a use a graphic image along with an SVG file to complete a print and cut project. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Check out the description of this video for more information and make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Have a great day and thanks for joining me.